he took a life, he took a son, he took a father, he took a grandpa. He has grandchildren, and we want him off the streets. Choking back the tears, a message tonight from a heartbroken family. They want justice and their son's murderer off the streets. Someone killed 41-year-old Timothy Marzetti this week in a home invasion. A good father who loved his family. Police believe Corleone McCurry is the one who did it. They've issued a warrant for his arrest, but he has yet to be cuffed. Kim Foley spoke with Marzetti's family this evening. She's live in the news center tonight with new details on this story. Kim. Well, Justin and Megan McCurry has been posting on Facebook even as late as 7 p.m. tonight. Tim Marzetti's family has seen their po these posts, and they want McCurry behind bars. So the big question tonight, where is he? Everybody that met Tim loved him. Uh, he would give you the shirt off his back. Patricia Lawson is still trying to make sense of her loss. Her son, Tim Marzetti, killed in his own home earlier this week. If you ever met him, you would never forget him. He was full of joy. Police say on Wednesday night, they were called to 36th and Hartman for a home invasion. When officers got there, they found Tim inside with a gunshot wound. He went to Creighton, but didn't survive. He was very uh, creative, man. Um, he was artistic. He had a lot of energy. He was athletic. He had all kinds of talents that people didn't know about. And um, I'm going to miss him. Two days after Tim's murder, OPD released this photo of the man wanted for the shooting. Many prayers are going up for the family and going up for the friends, and I just believe that this gentleman will be caught very soon. They're hoping the public can help find 26-year-old Corleone McCurry. Please turn him, turn him in. Let's get him off the street. He's been identified. We know he committed this murder, and we want justice. Tim's mom, a pastor, and Tim's dad, a minister. Through prayer and family support, they're navigating their way through a new world, one without their son. People that we know in this city have just been great coming out supporting me and my family. And we're really appreciative of that. And just to keep his memory alive. His family has set up an account at Wells Fargo in his mother's name, Patricia Lawson, for funeral expenses. Again, if anyone knows where to find McCurry, call Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. In the studio, Kim Foley, KMTV Action 3 News.